Jane Goodall, we're talking about diet. Diet is a big lever when it comes to, to climate. Uh, some people say is that what you eat is more important than, than what you drive. What, what is your diet like, and how can people who are concerned about climate have a climate-smart diet? Well, it's, uh, I'm glad you asked that question, because I was determined to talk about it, even if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I think from about the, the late 60s, I stopped eating meat. Now, I stopped eating meat because I learned about the intensive animal agriculture and these terrible factory farms. And the next time I looked at meat on my plate, I thought, this symbolizes fear, pain, and death. So I stopped eating it. But then I began to realize a lot more that as nations around the world become wealthier, they eat more and more meat. It becomes a status symbol. And so what's happening is these billions of animals in these awful conditions, they have to be fed. Rainforests are being cut down to provide the grain. Huge amounts of fossil fuel are burned, getting the grain to the animals, the animals to the abattoir, the meat to the table. Huge amounts of water are being wasted to change vegetable protein to animal protein. I've been in many parts of the world where the grazing of cattle moving deeper and deeper and deeper into the forest change it to woodland and eventually into some kind of uh, inhospitable habitat which won't support life. And then, you know, if people don't care about animal welfare, okay, they don't care about the environment, okay, probably care about their own health. And I happened to be in the UK when the Surgeon General made this chilling announcement that the era of the antibiotics is nearly over and a main cont con contribution is the misuse of antibiotics keeping these animals alive.